This is something I will never ever forget and probably won't happen again, but Alhamdulillah, I'm just so grateful that I was a part of it. All we have really is this moment, this moment that is here right now. It's making the most of it. So we just landed in Accra in Ghana and we're on our way to uh, tomorrow to Freetown to Sierra Leone and Alhamdulillah the hospitality is amazing, it's so wonderful to travel with Mufti Mink and he is uh, subhanAllah so much to learn from, amazing scholar, so learned and yet so humble and his character is so beautiful so I'm looking forward to it. So we're here in uh, Accra and guess what, we're here at the immigration lounge uh, with Mufti Mink and Allah knows he's playing, subhanAllah, how amazing is that? Assalamu alaikum beautiful people, so Alhamdulillah we are here in Accra in Ghana we stayed the night and today we are on our way to Freetown, Sierra Leone with Mufti Mank. It's going to be a fantastic, I think, inshallah, welcome. Um, I've seen some of the videos of Mufti traveling to Sierra Leone before and it's been a dream of mine to go to Freetown because of the heritage and the history, subhanAllah. And I, I, I'm excited to meet everyone there. So inshallah, I'll keep you guys all posted uh, once we arrive in Freetown in a couple of hours, inshallah. I think events like this that unite the hearts, that bring people together, uh, all for one purpose is to think about their Creator, think about Allah, think about the reason we are here is to recognize Allah and to praise Allah. How are you? Welcome, sir. I'm really uh, to put it there. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for listening to the song. So Alhamdulillah, we made it to Freetown. We landed a few hours ago. The reception at the airport was unbelievable. SubhanAllah, it's, uh, it's such a beautiful country. I've never been to, to Freetown, but it reminds me a lot of some of the other West African, African countries I've been to. But uh, the people are amazing and uh, we're taking a drive now right through the country towards Freetown. It's about uh, maybe about two and a half hour drive. And uh, when we get there, uh, I think people are are going to be welcoming Mufti and that will be quite something to see inshallah and um, yeah so it's the adventure continues and I look forward to performing for the first time ever in Freetown inshallah
sees the Atlantic Ocean. So how beautiful is this? Untouched. It's just so amazing. Sierra Leone. Freetown. I think I should keep things simple, so maybe songs like Give Thanks to Allah, uh, Glory Be to Allah, uh, you know, songs where, where people could repeat and uh, could, like, you know, praise Allah, maybe there's, where there's dhikr within the song. Like Allah made everything, or everything belongs to Allah. So I think my hope that uh, I should adapt my set accordingly, but also my hope is that people will sing along, inshallah. That's my main, my main aim, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Uh, yesterday we had a very eventful day. It was day two. Yeah. In Freetown, Sierra yeah. Leone. We visited the president's Gee. office. We met the first lady. Subhanallah, we did so many things. We gave aid, uh, food parcels in the school yeah. community. We uh, saw some patients who just did some cataract operations. Yeah. It was a very, very long, fruitful day. Uh, today we are at the stadium. It's uh, like a Stephen Stadium in Freetown. We're performing this afternoon. Very excited. It feels quite incredible to think that I normally perform for a hundred people, a thousand people, maybe even if I'm lucky, maybe like a few thousand people. But uh, at this event, over a hundred thousand people are expected to, to, to be at the stadium, subhanAllah. So that is, I think, mind-blowing for me. Yeah. 
here backstage with Mufti Saab and we just arrived at the stadium. It's pretty intense, subhanAllah. <laughs> so many people, over 100,000 people in the stadium. Sound check went okay, I'm very, very nervous, but I make dua, inshallah, it all goes well. Inshallah, let's see. I'm really excited, I think, to try to step up onto, a, onto that stage and see so many people. I think it's gonna be my move. I think till now I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit of shock actually. I can't, even, I can't believe I actually did that. I can't believe actually every, I was at the center of that stadium full of people singing songs, subhanAllah. I think my mind can't fathom it. But it was really an, ex it, it was an exhilarating feeling, subhanAllah. An exhilarating feeling. Uh, I think what was really most amazing was when people were singing along, especially for give thanks to Allah, for uh, Allah made everything, for heal the world at the end. I think just listening to people singing along with me on such a big crowd, like you, you can't imagine just the sound of the crowd when they say Allahu Akbar or they sing along. It's just the sheer volume was like amazing, subhanAllah. So I, I felt comfortable. I was also very happy that everything worked out with the sound. I, I trusted Burks because I know Burks is going to do a good job with the house sound and he made me sound good on the outside. So Alhamdulillah. Unbelievable. I'll never, this is something I will never ever forget and probably won't happen again, but Alhamdulillah, I'm just so grateful that I was a part of it. So it's been five days, subhanAllah, since we left South Africa and now we are on our way back home, our last leg and subhanAllah it's been an unbelievable once in a lifetime experience traveling to uh, Sierra Leone to, uh, you know, to attend an event that was just so huge, the biggest event that I've ever performed at, subhanAllah. And um, it was really heartwarming actually, Mufi Sab said so many important things but one of the most important things he said was, you know, the amount of um, barakah that you will feel and also the sum of Allah's mercy that you will feel when you serve the poor, when you serve others 
not many people would go to communities like we've been to and uh, it really makes a difference and subhanallah I think it can empower our own lives to make us better people as well so it was a great great honor to travel with Mufti and um, to sing in Sierra Leone inshallah I hope that this is the start of many to come inshallah Assalamu alaikum everyone so we're back here in South Africa in Johannesburg Alhamdulillah just some reflections on the trip I've learned so much you know when you get to know someone when you travel with them and even though I've known uh, you know Mufti Meng for a while but subhanallah I got to know him so much better and I have so much more love for the brother he's uh, really an amazing person an amazing scholar and I can see now why people all over the world especially in Africa love him so much and it was an honor for me to be there with him uh, for me as an experience subhanallah singing in uh, Sierra Leone for the first time but not just singing in any place but in a stadium full of people over a hundred thousand people uh, people singing songs singing along with like my mom is amazing subhanallah it was really incredible and um, I'm just, I, I pray that I can do many more events like this where it's not just about me going to sing and, you know, for others, but it's about for me learning by traveling along with uh, really inspiring people. So, inshallah, till the next time, assalamu alaikum.